American Solution Advisor Team. This is another video in a series of videos that I've been doing this year on the new B1 service mobile app. And this video is focused on what is it like from a technician's perspective to use the application. So in this scenario, I'm Tom Silva, I'm a service technician, I'm out in the field, and I've been assigned service calls that I'm going to work on this afternoon. So I just got back from lunch, starting my afternoon, and I'm going to dive into the mobile app and see what uh, is scheduled for me. So I click on the service call app, I enter my user ID and password, and I log on to a particular company. And what pops up here is a pretty simple interface. It's got two things. It's tickets and a KPI screen. And we'll get to the KPI screen in a second. On this, I can see today I've got three service schedules called. I've got a low, a medium, and a high at 3, 4, and 6.15. I can see a little bit of information about each of those service calls. But what I really want to do first is kind of see where, um, where am I going. I'm in downtown Toronto, so hopefully these three calls are not too far away. I'm going to hit the map icon on the today bar, and it's going to open up the map feature of my phone and actually show me by location where those three service calls are. Um, what I'm going to do is focus on really that last call at 6.15. I'm going to pretend it's later in the afternoon. I've just finished those two calls, and I'm going to go now to uh, look at this A06 Rainbow Laser Series printer. If I wanted, um, like I wanted to give them a heads up I'm on my way, I can hit the phone icon, and because that uh, contact is linked to a phone number, I can actually make a phone call right here and tell Judy I'm on my way. What I want to do is kind of get some information. I'm sitting right outside on uh, 350 King Street in Toronto. And I want to open that service call and get some details before I head in. The first thing I want to do is I want to check in. I want to kind of say, hey, I'm here, and start the kind of the time recording and the location recording of where I am and what I am. So I'm going to hit the check-in button. It's going to ask me to confirm that, and it's going to say I've checked in. What that's doing, again, is using the geolocation feature of my phone to actually mark a time, a date timestamp, as well as a location, uh, latitude, longitude, for where I checked in. So I'm sitting out front of 350 King Street. It's going to check me in. But what I want to do is uh, take a look at what I've got going here. I know it's for a specific printer, a specific serialized, and I've got 30 minutes to do that. Okay. I can see there's a valid service contract. And I'm going to open that just to take a look, just to look at the description to say, oh, okay, it's, you know, they're, they have a valid contract between 8 and 5, doesn't include holidays, does include travel, but not parts and labor. And that's something I need to remember, okay, and that the valid contract is valid uh, all the way through the end of next year. The other thing, I see this is for a printer. I'm just going to, just by chance, look at the service history button, and I can see this printer has actually been serviced back on July 18th. And I can drill into that service call. Unfortunately, whoever the technician was didn't really give me a lot of information on the resolution or remarks. So I don't know a lot other than it was serviced not too long ago. So I'm back in here. I can see I need to contact Judy. I'm going to go into the building. I'm going to find Judy and basically say, you know, where's the printer? So she points me to where the printer is. And when I get to the printer, I'm actually going to use another feature of the service app, which is the scanner, to, to make sure I'm at the right printer. And I can see here there's a serial number that's associated for the printer I'm supposed to be serviced. I'm going to hit the scanner button on that, and it's going to pop up my camera on my iPhone, and I'm going to scan that barcode, and yeah, it found the A06 Rainbow printer. Do I want it to be updated? And I do, because I want to basically make sure there's a service history of me servicing this printer, and I'm going to say yeah. I, I know I'm at the right printer. The other last thing I do before I start working on this is I want to check out and see if there's any attachments about this, and I can see there is. Back when they created the service call, they uh, uploaded the A006 server, or uh, sorry, printer manual in PDF format and attached it to this. So I now have at my disposal the full, all the documentation on this printer if I need to check out any details or if I have any questions about the way this printer works. Again, the, uh, when the CSR created this service call, they attached the printer so I'd have this information. 
So I open the printer, I look at it, it's really dusty, it's really dirty, there's black ink everywhere, and you know, I basically take it apart, vacuum it out, clean it up, and I realize, after having spent about an hour, that one of the other things it needs is a new cartridge. So it needs some new black ink. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my truck, get my cartridge, I'm gonna put it, install, install it, and what I can do, I can take a photo of that, of maybe what I wanted to do, take a photo of uh, the dirty printer. So I could go ahead here and click on the fake photo, and pretending this is a, a printer, not a keyboard, I could go ahead and take a photo and say, use that photo, okay? I'm gonna label it printer, dirty pick and I'm gonna say done what it's gonna do is actually save that photo and attach it to the service call uh, as one of my attachments and it will be available back in the office as well as for any future person that uh, has that attachment as associated so okay so now that I have the printer fixed and all tested out I need to do a couple of things before I uh, close this service call. One of the things I need to do is I need to go and enter a resolution. So I'm going to go ahead and hit edit, and then I'm going to paste in some text that I did that tells basically what I did, how I solved the problem, and that kind of hit, hit done, and hit yes. So I basically have some detailed information on how I fix the printer and service the printer. The other thing I need to do is I need to uh, enter a sales order to record the fact that I put in a new cartridge, black cartridge, as well as spent my time since I, I know from this service contract that are not include parts and, and labor. So what I'm going to do is go and create a sales order for those two items. I'm going to hit my ellipse button, click on sales order, click on my plus and it's going to create a new sales order for microchips. It's got all the information about the customer, sales employee, and the dates. What I need to do is add those two items. So rather than go through this list, I'm going to search for cartridge or cart, and I'm going to find there's my uh, inkjet cartridge. I'm going to select that. And the other thing, since I want to charge them for my time, I'm going to enter another keyword service, do a search, and there's my hourly service labor charge and I've got that I'm gonna click done I'm gonna go ahead and click done and then I'm gonna go ahead and click create and it is gonna create a sales order and link it number 716 to this service call so I now have a sales order with those two items so that they can get billed for that uh, my time and that ink card. Um, the last thing I'm going to do just to make sure is uh, I'm going to check out using the checkout button. Again, this is going to record my date timestamp as well as my location. Now that I have this, I'm going to go ahead and click next. There's my sales order. I want to include that. Click next. And what I now want to do is go over to Judy Brown and get her signature as well as give her a, a hard copy of this service call. I'm going to hit signature. Up pops my little tablet to capture her signature. Judy's going to enter her signature and hit done. I'm going to say, do I want to close the ticket? Yes. And, and it's going to update and tell me now this ticket has been closed. Now, before I leave Judy, I want to make sure she has a copy of the complete service call. I'm going to click on the ellipse and I'm going to hit the generate report PDF. Um, now using a crystal reports template that I've designed in B1. I am going to generate this report, and I can see there's lots of information about that. Basically, all the service call information, my remarks, the actual resolution, a copy of the sales order for the labor and the inkjet cartridge, as well as Judy's signature. Now, rather than printing this out, which I could do, I'm going to actually just email it. And again, integration with the phone is I can me text message her if I have her phone number, hit mail. I'm going to hit mail. Um, just for the sake of this, I'm going to send it to myself. There it is. And I'll, it's going to attach that PDF and I'm going to click send. So from there, um, kind of go back to my home screen. I can see that call is off and I could then begin to process other service calls. The last thing I want to show you is just uh, the KPI screen, and this kind of is a, uh, if you're used to the Honda dashboards, this is just that on the phone. Wait for it to refresh, 
And this is going to be unique to me as Tom Silva, the technician. I can see there's a couple of KPIs, one for closed tickets. I've closed seven this month. My yearly in-service rate is 74.1%. I can see the top items that I picked, of which the series 1200 laser series printer is one of the highest. And I can see my top visit is customers, as well as a trend of the number of service calls I've closed over the last couple of months. With that, Thank you very much, and this has been the new B1 service mobile application from the perspective of a service technician.